Hey, John. I was talking to some of our friends, and we're planning to go camping next weekend. Do you want to join us? Camping? I've never been camping before, Rachel. It sounds like fun, but I don't have any camping stuff to bring. That's fine, John. I have a spare tent you can sleep in, and you can share my other camping stuff like a sleeping bag and cooking equipment. It'll be a great time. Really? That's very kind of you. But I don't really know anything about camping. What do you do when you go camping? Oh, it's easy and fun. We make a fire, cook food, tell stories, and enjoy nature. We also go for walks and explore the woods. You'll love it. It does sound exciting, but aren't there wild animals in the woods? Don't worry, John. We'll be in a safe place. We know the area well, and we'll take all the right steps to be safe. You won't have to worry about anything. What about food? What will we eat? We'll bring some food with us. We'll cook it on the fire. It's fun to cook outside. Do you like grilled meat and vegetables? Yes, I love grilled food. This is starting to sound good. But what should I bring? Just bring some clothes, a good pair of shoes for walking, and maybe a flashlight. I'll take care of the rest. If you want, you can come over before we leave, and I'll show you everything. Okay, I think I'll come. It sounds like a new adventure. And if you're sure it's okay that I use your spare things, then I'm happy to try. Absolutely. It's no trouble at all. It'll be more fun with you there and it'll be a chance for you to try something new. Thank you, my friend. You make it sound very good. I'm looking forward to it now. Great. I'm glad you're coming. We'll have a wonderful time. Let's meet a day before to plan everything. Sounds like a plan. See you later, Rachel. See you later, John. Hey, Brian. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Hey, Jack. Yes, I'm going to watch a soccer game with my friends. How about you? What are you doing this weekend? Oh, cool. A soccer game? That sounds like fun. I don't have any big plans this weekend. I'm just going to stay home and maybe read a book or watch some TV. So, who are you going with to watch the soccer game? I'm going with some friends from my old school. You haven't met them before. We usually meet up to watch games together. It's a nice way to stay friends with them. That sounds like a great time. I wish I had something fun like that planned. Do you think it would be okay if I joined you? I'd love to meet your friends and watching the game together sounds like fun. Really? You want to come with us? That's great. I'm sure my friends won't mind. They're very friendly and it'll be good to have you with us. That'll be great, but are you sure your friends will like me coming? I don't want to bother them. No, it's not a problem at all. I think they'll like you. We'll have a good time together. Thank you, Brian. That's very kind of you. I'm really looking forward to it. What time are you meeting, and where? We're meeting at a sports bar near the city center. We usually get together around 3 p.m., just before the game starts. You can come to my place first, and we can go together. Perfect. I'll be at your place at 2.30. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. I'll tell my friends that you're coming. We'll have a great time. Thanks again, Brian. I really appreciate it. It'll be fun to watch the game with others who enjoy soccer. You're welcome, Jack. It's going to be a great game, and having you there will make it even better. See you on Saturday. See you on Saturday. Hey, Brian. It is good to see you. How are you? Hello, Sarah. I'm good. It's nice to see you, too. I want to know about your new girlfriend. How are things going with her? Things are going great. She's very nice and sweet. That's good to hear. I'm happy for you. What do you like about her? She's kind. She listens to me. She's funny, and she's very beautiful. That's very nice. It sounds like you really like her. Yes, I do. I think I want to marry her. Wow. That's big news. But are you sure? That's a big step. Yes, I know. But I feel very sure. I think she's the one for me. 
That's a big decision. But don't you think it's too fast? Maybe. But when you know, you know. And I feel like I know. Yes, but love can make us think in a rush. Maybe you should take more time to know her. I know what you're saying, but I feel different with her. I feel very sure. I understand, but it's a big step. Marriage is not just about love. I know that. I know it's also about understanding, respect, and working together. Yes, that's right. Have you talked about this with her? Not yet. I want to talk to her soon. I want to know what she thinks. That's a good idea. But remember, it's important to listen to her feelings, too. Yes, I will. I care about her feelings. I want to make her happy. That's good. It's about making each other happy. Yes, I know. I think we can make each other happy. We have a good relationship. That's great to hear. Marriage is also about being there for each other, in good times and bad times. I understand. I believe we can be there for each other. I believe we can handle it. Marriage is also a long journey. It's not just about the wedding day. Yes, I know. It's about living together, sharing life, and growing together. That's right. It's about sharing joys, challenges, and even simple everyday moments. It does seem like you've put a lot of thought into this. Yes, I have put lots of thought into this decision, and I look forward to doing all of that with her. That's beautiful. But also remember, there's no rush. Take your time. Yes, I'll remember that. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome. I just want you to be happy. Hey, Fred. I've been thinking about something lately. What's on your mind, Sam? Well, I've been thinking about buying a house. You know, get my own place and settle down. That sounds like a big step. Have you been checking out house prices? Yes, I have, and that's the problem. Everything is just so expensive. Yeah, I understand. The cost of houses is really high these days. But don't worry. Many people are dealing with this. That's true. I just thought by this time in my life, I'd have my own place. But the cost makes it seem impossible. Yeah, it's hard. But, you know, there are other things you can do with your money. Like what? Well, have you ever thought about traveling the world? You're still young, and it could be an amazing experience. Traveling the world? That sounds nice. But wouldn't that be just as expensive? Well, it can be. But it also depends on how you travel. There are a lot of budget-friendly options. You could stay in hostels, eat local food, and take public transportation. I see your point. But wouldn't all that money be gone in the end? At least with a house, I have something to show for it. That's a fair point. But think about the experiences you'll gain, the people you'll meet, and the cultures you'll learn about. Those are priceless. I see what you mean. Those experiences would be very valuable. But I can't shake off the idea of owning a home. And that's okay. It's a big decision, and it's entirely up to you. You could even do both. Buy a smaller, more affordable place and save some money for travel. That sounds like a good idea. I didn't think about that. Maybe I don't need a big house. Exactly. Sometimes it's not about having the biggest or the best. It's about finding what makes you happy and satisfied. You're right. I need to think about what I truly want. Maybe I've been too focused on this idea of a big house. It's easy to get caught up in what society expects of us. But remember, it's your life, and you should do what makes you happy. You're right. Whether it's buying a smaller house, traveling, or even both, I should think about what I really want. Exactly, buddy. Thanks, man. I appreciate you introducing me to a different perspective. Of course. And remember, there's no rush. These are big decisions. Take your time. You're right. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Now, how about we grab some lunch? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. I'm glad we were finally able to go on the date, Susie. I'm glad we could do this too, Jerry. So, how was your day? It was good. 
quite busy at work, but otherwise fine. How about yours? Pretty much the same as you. Busy, but good. Me too. So tell me something about you that I don't know yet. Let's see. Well, I'm a big fan of astronomy. I love stargazing, and I often spend nights looking at the stars. What about you? That's interesting. I love music. I play the guitar in my free time. It helps me relax. That's cool. I'd love to hear you play sometime. What kind of music do you like? I like all kinds of music, but I have a soft spot for jazz. How about you? I enjoy jazz, too. I also like classical music. It's very soothing. I agree. So where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I hope to be working in a job I love, living in a nice house, and maybe even have a pet. What about you? Similar to you, I hope to be successful in my career and living a happy and fulfilling life. That sounds wonderful. Do you have any exciting plans for the future? Yes, I'm planning to travel more. I'd love to explore different countries and cultures. What about you? I have the same plans. I'd love to travel to places I've never been before. That sounds exciting. Which places are on your list? I'd love to visit Italy, Greece, and Japan. How about you? I'd love to visit France and Spain. I've heard great things about them. They sound like great choices. Do you have any favorite books or movies? I love the Harry Potter series of books. As for movies, I love classics, like The Godfather. How about you? My favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird. As for movies, Shawshank Redemption is a favorite. Those are great choices. So how do you spend your weekends usually? I like to relax, maybe read a book or watch a movie. I also enjoy hiking. And you? I usually spend time with my friends, going to a movie or a concert or something like that. I also like to paint sometimes. You're an artist. That's amazing. I'd love to see your work sometime. Sure. I'd be happy to show you. Anyway, it's getting late. Maybe we should call it a night? Yes, I think so. I had a great time tonight. Would you like to do this again? I'd love that. Let's plan for next week. Hey, Jimmy. How are you today? Hey, Tom. I'm okay. A little tired, though. Why is that? Is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It's just work. It's very busy. Really? Why is it so busy? We have many tasks to do. More than usual. It's hard to finish everything. That sounds tough. Do you have to work late? Yes, I often work late. Sometimes I even work on weekends. Oh no, that's too much. You should take care of your health. Yes, I know, but there is so much to do. Do you get help? Maybe your team can help you. Yes, we work as a team, but everyone is busy. Everyone has a lot to do. That's not good. You should tell your boss. Maybe they can find a solution. Maybe, but I don't want to complain. I don't want to cause trouble. It's not causing trouble. It's about your health. It's important to rest and relax. Yes, you're right. I should talk to my boss. Yes, you should. Also, remember to eat well and sleep well. That can help you handle stress. I know, but it's hard to sleep when I'm worried about work. Yes, it can be hard. But try to relax before you go to bed. Maybe read a book or listen to some music. That's a good idea. I will try that. Good. And remember, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to say no. Yes, I will remember that. Thank you for your advice. You're welcome. If you need to talk, just call me. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate your support. It's good to talk about these things. Yes, it is. It helps to share our worries. It helps to support each other.
If you want to continue learning English today, click on this video here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video.